Hey everyone, Fuzzy Bear Barian here. As you guys probably know, I haven't uploaded anything for over a month, so this is a bit of an update for you. Back when I was uploading stuff, I was making guides for Demon Souls and Scarlet Nexus, but I ended up needing a break big time, more than anyone needed those guides at least, so I took it. I did keep playing games here and there though, right now I'm on my way up to the final Demon Souls boss, King Alant. Once I beat him, that'll be my first completion of Demon Souls, finally. Pretty great game to be honest. It's also the easiest Souls like I've ever played, so that's been good since, you know, I'm meant to be resting and all that. It has taken me ages to get here because I've also been playing Scarlet Nexus, Ender Lilies and Death's Door at the same time. So much for resting I guess. Anyway I can totally recommend all of those, especially Death's Door, that was pretty fun. Alright, here we are at the boss. I already know this will be easy, I've seen this fight plenty of times before, so just pretty much dodge him, back away, go in and hit him, dodge him, back away, go in and hit him seems to be the strategy, so that's pretty much all I'll be doing. I actually really like Demon Souls a lot. Um, I'd happily do another run. I actually wanted to do a fist only naked run, but I probably won't get time. There's just too many good games coming out now that I'm back playing. There's Mortal Shell's Virtuous Cycle DLC, Ghost of Tsushima's Director's Cuts coming out, 12 Minutes looks really interesting, Song of Irons coming out at the end of the month, Keener Bridge of Spirits in a few weeks, Fist Forged in Shadow Torch is another one I think at the end of the month. In early next month we've got Aragami 2. I think in a few days we've got Book of Travels, which is a tiny MMO that looks pretty interesting if you want a relaxing game. And dare I say it, the Black Panther update for Marvel's Avengers is also coming out, which even though I dumped that game ages ago and I'm not really keen to go back to it, the DLC isn't looking too bad if I'm fair, and it's free, so you know, there's that. And Christopher Judge, who's the voice of God of War, he's doing the voice of T'Challa in it, so that tweaks my interest a bit. In any case though, I've got no idea how I could possibly squeeze all of those games in, so I'll probably be skipping some. Most likely Ghosts of Tsushima and Avengers will be the ones I skip because honestly I'd rather play a new game than DLC, especially Ghosts since it's way too expensive to update the PS4 to the PS5 version and get the director's cut as well. It's like $50 where I am, which is crazy. It costs more than nearly all of those other games that are coming out except for I think only Kena, which itself is only like 10 bucks more than the Ghost DLC. So yeah, I'll probably skip that and wait for that to be on special one day when I can get it cheap. So anyway, this fight's nearly almost over. The whole time it's just a case of run away, run in and hit, run away, dodge, run in and hit, and there's the trophy, False King's Trophy. So that's actually my first completion. That's the first time I've beaten him. And uh, I think I know damage that too, so pretty, pretty easy fight. Not the, e uh, pro yeah, probably, maybe even the easiest in the game, or I don't know. They're all being reasonably easy to my mind, but still fun. Very much enjoyed it. Anyway, I just wanted to update you guys with what's happening where I'm at. As far as the next game I'm playing goes, it'll probably be 12 minutes. That comes out August 18 where I am and I've already pre-ordered it so it's a done deal. It's got a voice cast like James McAvoy, Willem Dafoe and Daisy Ridley so that's got me really interested. I guess you guys can expect me to post more about it at some point in the future. Alright, that's it for Demon Souls for me and that's it for this video. Talk to you later.